This video is a compound finance tutorial, which is a lending and borrowing protocol on Ethereum and its layer twos. We'll look at supplying some assets to earn some income and also how to borrow against collateral to take out loans on this protocol. It's a little bit different to Aave, so we'll go through some considerations that we need to keep in mind. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. We can use Compound on Ethereum mainnet or some of the other scaling layers. All of the different blockchains are different markets with different interest rates. So what we have to do here is supply assets in as collateral and then we can borrow against them and we can pay an interest rate. Or if we just have assets like a stable coin that we want to earn yield on, we simply supply it to the protocol and earn the yield that the protocol is giving at any current time. Compound is over collateralized lending, which means if we want to borrow from the protocol, let's say we want to borrow $800, we need to put $1,000 of collateral on. So you want to buy $800 worth of USDC, you need to put, let's say $1,000 of ETH on there as collateral to borrow against. If we're supplying, it's not a big deal. Uh, we just get an interest rate based on the supply and demand in the market at the time. All of these interest rates are floating based on supply and demand, so they change over time. You can see the different networks here are completely different markets with different interest rates. So for example, on Ethereum, if you supply ETH, the net earn is 2.4%. And if you wanna borrow, uh, you borrow and pay 2.34%. On ETH, if you supply a USD coin, USDC, you get 8% in yield, although that changes based on supply and demand. You can see the utilization. So this means how much of the amount that can be borrowed is being borrowed. As this goes up, the utilization increases, therefore demand is higher, and therefore the interest rate paid will be higher. And you can see that that change is dependent on the blockchain. So each market is different. On base right now, the net earn APR is 11% and the net borrow APR is 5.6%. And you may say, well, that's ridiculous. I can borrow at 5% and earn 11%. How is that even possible? If you click in here, Compound incentivizes many of these liquidity pools or these borrow markets with the comp token. So we can see here the actual interest rate that we're getting is 5.88% but we're getting another 5% in comp tokens. So if we use this market and we supply in this market, we can get those comp tokens as an incentive and they will rack up up here at the top. So I'm gonna connect my wallet and connect any wallet that you have. If you don't have a wallet or know how to use them, I'll leave that for videos down in the description. But up here, once you've got your wallet connected, you'll see the comp rewards and then you can withdraw them as and when you want. Let's go over some details on how we supply and borrow assets on the protocol because it's very different to how Aave works, which is you supply an asset, you have value, you can borrow against it. On Compound, the supplies and the borrows are split. So we have to know what we wanna do first. So if we're just looking to supply an asset to earn a yield, we can do that very simply. So what we do is we go to the blockchain, we choose the asset that we want to interact with. This is ETH USDC, this is bridged USDC. I recommend using the native version, but we'll click on ETH. So if you have some ETH, you just want to lend, uh, put it into the protocol. You can see the net supply APR here is 2.42% uh, with the comp rewards. So what you do, if you have some, you'll press supply ETH, you put an amount in. What will happen is that ETH goes in and you start earning this supply reward. Now that collateral that you put in, you can't borrow against that because it's not supported collateral. If you want to borrow ETH, then the only collateral that you can use is this one here, which is CB ETH. This is Coinbase's staked ETH. Coinbase take ETH, stake it on Ethereum, they get the staking rewards. So should be exactly the same price as ETH plus the staking rewards each year. You would have to hold this, get this token, supply it in, you don't earn any rewards on it, that's just used as collateral to then go ahead and borrow ETH. So if I click this in uh, and an amount and just add that action in, you can now see that supplying that collateral into the protocol would increase my collateral value because it's a collateral asset and it would let, allow me to borrow ETH here. If I don't have that in the protocol, I can't borrow anything. Even if I have ETH in here, it won't let me borrow against it because it's not a collateral asset. If we go over to USDC, it's the same thing. If I had USDC in my wallet, you could supply it, you earn this interest right here. However, if I wanted to borrow USDC, I can either put ETH or Coinbase wrap staked ETH in. So I could you know, add an amount here and add an amount of this one as well. Uh, I could approve an ad and uh, that will obviously go through. I just want to cancel this out. 
but we can see supply CB ETH, we can supply uh, an amount of ETH, you can actually supply them in the same transaction right here. And you would put them in, and then once you have those collateral assets in, uh, they can actually be borrowed against. So you can see borrow USDC. Um, so we're gonna do that later, but for now I'll just show you how to supply. Let's go ahead and supply some ETH into the protocol simply to earn a yield then. So we'd go to the network and the asset that we wanna interact with. From here, press supply the asset. You have some in your wallet because it's green. So put an amount in, press add action. It's gonna show you a preview of what's gonna happen. So that's how much you would supply into the protocol. Notice down here, there's no collateral value. This is not a collateral asset. We can't borrow against this asset, we're just supplying it. So we can submit that transaction. And then from here, just check. Now, if you've never interacted with Compound before, then you will have to first approve the contracts with a transaction. It will take you back to the Compound page. You then have to press approve again, and then it will take you through to this. So I'm just gonna confirm this, and this will supply ETH into the protocol. Now from here, what should happen once that's supplied is that you have that supply in the protocol and you should be earning some yield from that. You can't borrow against this because it's not a collateral asset. You would have to then actually go through and add some Coinbase CB ETH if you wanted to borrow against it, but we're just supplying here. So that's gone through. You can see that the supply is 2.42% net. So I can supply more ETH if I want, because I have some more in my wallet, or I can withdraw that ETH. So withdraw, max, add action. That's the preview. We can submit that transaction and that will withdraw from the protocol. If you wanted to supply a stable coin to earn the yield, it's the exact same thing. So you actually go to now the stable coin market. You can see that even though I've supplied some ETH in the other market, this is a completely separate market. So right here, if you wanted to supply USDC simply and earn yield from it, get some USDC into your wallet, press supply. That would come down here and then you can supply that uh, just like we did in the previous section with ETH. You would have a balance here and it would show you your net APR is around you know 14.68% right now. Now let's look at putting some collateral into the system to borrow against. So I'm gonna borrow some USDC what collateral assets can I put into the protocol to do that? These two supported assets, one is CB ETH and one is ETH. Uh, which one should you use? Well, if you're putting ETH in as collateral anyway, then maybe it's better to put CB ETH in because at least you're earning staking rewards on the CB ETH token, which is gonna reduce any potential interest rate that you have to pay to borrow the USDC. But that's up to the individual. So make sure that we're on the market that we want. From here, I'm going to supply some collateral. So that's on the left-hand side. I've got some CB ETH here, so I'm going to add that in. I'm gonna put max, um, and I'm gonna prove and add that. So from here, what this is gonna do is um, actually go through with the transaction. So if I approve and add, um, it should go through the transaction now. So what it's doing is saying, hey, you wanna add this into the protocol. Now this is, I've never interacted with the protocol before, so what I'm gonna to have to do is actually uh, approve this first. So sign and create, confirm. It should take me back through to the compound page. Now you can see what is going to happen when I actually approve this is that I'm gonna have some value to borrow against. Once I've supplied the CB ETH in here, you can see it lets me borrow USDC right now against the value of that collateral. So I'll just wait for this to go through. Once that's gone through, I can actually approve this supply. So submit transaction. That's the actual supply of the asset. So that's fine. We can go through and create that. Once that's in, I can then borrow USDC against the value of my collateral. Before making any borrows, we need to understand the loan to value ratios and any potential liquidation points. Like I said, Compound is over collateralized borrowing. And that means that if you wanna borrow $800, you need $1,000 of collateral. That would be a loan to value of 80%. And so you can borrow up to 80%. However, what happens is if you put your collateral in here and you borrow $800, that Ethereum, which you're using as collateral, falls in value, that means that your loan to value is going up to 85, 87, 88%. At some point, you get liquidated. What you can do here is add more ETH in and reduce your loan to value, or you can just get liquidated. There's no penalty for being liquidated, just get liquidated, and you actually do pay a penalty. You pay like a small percent fee as a liquidation, but you know the protocol is not gonna ban you or anything, but we can see this, right? So what we want to do is go to the network that we're using. So USD coin, which is what we're gonna be borrowing. 
and you should see the details right here. So come down here and you can see that the collateral assets and the collateral factor. So the collateral factor is 75% for CB ETH, 80% for ETH. This means that you can borrow 80% loan to value and 75% loan to value. That's the collateral factor. The liquidation factor is 90% and 80%. That means that if your loan to value comes up to those levels, you're, start, you're gonna start to get liquidated and you pay the penalty of the liquidation as well. Um, so we have to be sure that we're managing our loan to value and not getting into any of the liquidation factors. Um, of course, you know, you may just want to get liquidated and pay the fee and whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but obviously managing positions, we just have to be uh, careful of that. So each asset is different. As you can see, the collateral factor is different depending on the asset. Smaller assets, uh, like some of the collateral you, you can use on other blockchains, for example, the Ethereum mainnet, smaller assets, less liquid assets are going to have, um, you know, much lower loan to values. You can see that here, collateral factor is 75% and you start getting liquidated at 81% on these smaller tokens, right? So just to be sure of that before getting involved with anything. So dashboard, we're going to go over to base USDC. And then you can see my collateral value is $52 here and the borrow capacity is $39. So let's go ahead and borrow. So now we've got the collateral in there. Notice it's not earning any rewards. We go to borrow USDC and we can put an amount in here so we can add that action in. And you can see my liquidation risk is very small, right? My borrow capacity is all the way up here. So obviously I'm you know, borrowing a much smaller amount uh, based on my collateral. So let's go ahead and submit that transaction. We just have to sign and create this and then we can actually borrow those assets. So sign and create, confirm. And then I will actually be borrowing this collateral against the value of my Coinbase wrap stake teeth. So that's gone through. You can see that here, my liquidation point right here. And obviously that's very, very low. This is the liquidation risk, very, very low as well. Now that we've got that USDC in our wallet, we can do anything we want with it, just like any other token. So I'll show you my balance. And you can see that here, it's in my wallet. So I can use that to send to a different protocol and actually supply that asset if it's getting a higher interest rate than we're paying, or I can use the value to trade into another token uh, and do anything I want with it. So that's right here. That's the interest that we're paying now. It's 9.51%. Actually, it's 11.92% plus the 2.4% comp rewards. And when we want to come back and pay, it will be how much we need to pay back plus the interest. So you'll need to have that amount of USDC in your wallet to pay off the loan if you wanna pay it down. So we can actually go ahead and do that. So we'll just repay USDC, press max in here, which is the loan plus any interest, add the action, submit transaction, and sign in, create that. So that's actually paying off the loan. You need the same coin to pay off the loan, and that should take you down to you know zero balance when that goes through. The collateral is still in the system though, you can see that here. So you'd have to withdraw that from the protocol separately if you don't want any collateral in there to collateralize any loans. You can, of course, edit the collateral as well. So if you have some CB ETH in here and you've borrowed some USDC against that, but the price of ETH is falling and so the loan to value is going up and you're getting near your borrow capacity, you can obviously add collateral in to reduce the loan to value and you can you know, add in some, some uh, ETH here approve the action. And what that would do is add collateral in and reduce the liquidation risk. If you need more help with DeFi, check out the crypto investor course linked down in the description below. There's a whole section on using DeFi, lending and borrowing. You can also ask me questions in the private discord groups. I'm James, this is my ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.